All hail his <clears throat> Björnun, House of Accelerate, King of the Classy Men Association, Fest of Men, Lord of... Okay, enough. My name is Björnun and you're welcome to another episode of Accelerate News. Now, this time around, grab a Valerian sword, straddle a dragon, and let go. Game of Thrones is back, and if you haven't seen the first episode, by the time you're watching this, I have just one question for you. Are you actually a fan? Anyway, for those of you that haven't seen it yet, spoiler alert, click away, or you know, skip to like two minutes after this, you know, just figure it out. Now, first and foremost, did you notice the new improved intro sequence? <laughs> you can tell that the producers are pulling all the stops to give you a treat. Now, the way that the map table spins from, you know, flipping from like rock to ice it just makes you get a better sense of the story and the navigation through the whole table and the kingdom is pretty much from like the ice king i'm sorry the night king's perspective now we even see the comet that made a debut back in season one but hey now the way that Arya's eyes lit up when the party of Jon snow and daenerys walked into winterfell is exactly how i want my in-laws to look at me when i arrive at their house now talk about an entire mood now the little bit even though he you know made a very sad fate towards the end of the episode gave that stinker that you know one particular in law will give you when you arrive at their house to do an intro but hey finally we see Jon Snow ride a dragon now this has been one of the biggest questions that fans have had on their minds since we learned that he was a secret Targaryen it was absolutely adorable to see the way that Rhaegal cuddled up to Jon right before the ride which I think was a very bumpy one but Jon looked like a pro while doing it now unfortunately this time we only get six episodes but hey each episode is expected to have a runtime well over one hour so make sure you strap in this has been a stable selection on our tv schedule for so long i don't even know what people are going to do once it leaves the air Speaking of the things that are finally here, Avengers Endgame is out next week, everybody. Now, no need to worry as your April salary should be enough to cover you watching it in 4DX, IMAX, premium screen, VIP, and all sorts of formats that you can watch it in. So with what we know from the trailers, let's do a quick recap. Now, Thor has a new hammer, and if you think that that's a euphemism for something, I'll let you decide. Now, Hawkeye also has a new haircut, Tony Stark somehow made it back to planet Earth, Ant-Man somehow made it out of the quantum realm, and half of the universe is still dead. Now, during the press tour, none of the actors have been able to say something about the upcoming movie, mainly without the sheer fear of, you know, Disney's police. Now, so many questions, but what can we expect from the three-hour runtime of movie we definitely will have all our answers in a bunch now similar to game of thrones this movie is also going to be you know bittersweet as it marks the last time that marvel will feature robert downey jr chris evans chris hemsworth samuel l jackson mark ruffalo and jeremy renner's current contracts you know that allows them to be in one movie so i hope you all reserved your cinema seat bought extra boxes of popcorn for april 26th because it's going to be a rumpass tumper. I mean, I honestly don't know what else to say, but Avengers, assemble! But not to worry, everyone, as production powerhouse Disney takes a break with the spandex wearing superheroes as they open the doors to the galaxy far, far away as they drop the new teaser trailer for ninth installment of, you know, the interstellar Star Wars saga titled Rise of the Skywalker on a Saturday. With returning faces like Donald Glop, sorry, I mean, Billy D. Williams, aka Lando Calrissian, and the late great Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia, the trailer marks the final Star Wars movie in the J.J. Abrams trilogy. Now, what I think most people will take away from the trailer came at the very end, where we see Rey and Finn gazing over what looks like a scattered remains of the Death Star as we hear the haunting voice of the evil Emperor Palpatine, aka Darth Sidious. Now, is he alive? Well, according to Lucasfilm boss Kathleen Kennedy, the reemergence of Emperor Palpatine thought dead after Return of the Jedi was long planned. Spoiler alert, Star Wars. <laughs> now, this film is expected for a Christmas release on the 20th of December 
2019. Now more on entertainment. It has been a busy week for everybody. Now from movies to music, the world came together on the 12th of April for a good old jam session in the middle of the Colorado desert, USA. Now with the likes of Childish Gambino and Ariana Grande headlining the event, Africa made sure the lights shine bright. Now with the incredible stage performances from Afrobeat aficionados, Mr. Easy and Burna Boy. Now other performances include Pusha T, Kid Cudi, and who knows, with all the attention he's been getting, maybe Lil Nas X will pull a Stan Lee making an appearance. Now running well into the week, Coachella expects to see a performance from everyone's favorite mentally unstable musician, Kanye West. Now it was even reported that fire broke out in the mobile shower unit. Now <laughs> don't you just love the irony? Now thankfully, the fire was quickly contained and no one was seriously injured. On Thursday last week, one of the Coachella 2019 headliners, Ariana Grande, shared some personal news on her social media page. She posted a picture of a scan of her brain showing people that she is still battling with post-traumatic stress disorder after the explosion during her 2017 concert in Manchester, England. Last week, the world said goodbye to one of her greatest gifts to music. On Friday, late great West Coast rapper Nipsey Hussle was laid to rest at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Hollywood Hills with his girlfriend Lauren London and children Cross and Imani present. Attended by his family and friends, the funeral service saw memoirs from the artists from several Hollywood celebrities. Snoop Dogg, YG, Jay-Z, Stevie Wonder, even former President Barack Obama shared about the influence of Nipsey's music and kind heart in their lives. Now held at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, President Obama sent a letter that was read aloud during the service and Jay-Z and Kendrick Lamar shared inspiring words of wisdom in the funeral program booklet. Our hearts go out to friends and family of Nipsey Hussle and everybody that his life, sorry, his music touched their lives. For all you fashionistas out there, time to space out your shadow as Africa's premier fashion show is back. That's right, Arise Fashion Week has returned. Now set to offer up an incredible selection of the continent's best and brightest talent in the world of fashion, the Fashion Week is set to take place at the Lagos Continental from the 19th to the 22nd of April 2019. Now with designers set to showcase their 2019 Autumn Winter Collection, the event will naturally attract the attention of international fashion industries, buyers, enthusiasts, press, and designers. The lineup of designers for the Arise Fashion Week 2019 will definitely blow your mind. I mean, we have some of the biggest names from the Nigerian fashion industry. Tokyo James, Maya Tapo, Larry Ajaida Silva, Bridget Awoshika, and even Kenneth Ize, who is also closely followed by Three Paradise, Rich Mincy, and, you know, even Papa Opong, I think. Now, many of these guys have also been nominated for the LVMH Prize, so make sure you head on over to AccelerateTV.com to catch the full list. The event is also going to to be hosted by fashion's biggest Naomi Campbell. So hey, it's an interesting time for fashion in Nigeria and Africa at large. Last year, Lagos saw the return of the Homecoming, a three-day cultural festival of art, fashion, and music. Now with A-list artists like David O. Whisked, Tiwa Savage performing in the past, this year's lineup will blow your mind. Now just like last year, the 2019 festival will be held over a three-day period from the 19th to the 21st of April 2019. So see you guys there. Now while we're still at it, all the way from Coachella back to Nigeria as Africa music continues to dominate the headlines. Get ready for yet another bitch blast which will feature good food, great music and chill vibe, arts, games and everything that you can imagine coming to you at the Giddy Culture Festival 2019. Now just around the corner, this fifth edition of Giddy Culture is said to be an unforgettable night of amazing fun and great music. Now set to take place at the Hard Rock Cafe in VI on the 20th of April 2019, the Music Fest will feature some of the biggest homegrown African hip hop artists you've ever heard of from Pato Rankin, Tenny, DJ Neptune, One Day Cole, Niniola, Saz, Sir Shino Peters, along with South Africa's very own Moonchild. This year's Giddy Culture Fest is looking like it's going to be actually 
one to remember and a very little bit of late is going to follow it up as well. Hey, that's it for today on Accelerate News. Now, don't forget to catch the latest episode of Yellow Wall with Tamara. She absolutely spills some good beans on that show. Now, don't also forget to catch the latest episode of Off the Menu with our friend Suliat Pada. Speaking of Suliat, her final episode debuts this Friday, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. We're definitely going to miss her until she comes back for her next season. Until next time, stay awesome, everybody.